right there about to fry. I can't fuck with no these lanes, they gon' fuck me last. Hello everyone, this is Ty Slatter. And this is Shania Boy. Welcome back to another edition of the Wolves Den, brought to you by GTA Sports Network. Make sure you follow us on all social media platforms at the Indianapolis Wolves, GTA Sports Network, GTA Heat Check. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to GTA Sports on YouTube, and check out TySlatter.com for all things in the world of sports. Shania, how we doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I can't complain. Today we're going to be covering the W, right? We're going to spend a lot more time talking about arguably the best thing smoking in this you know when it comes to social media when it comes to athletics the WNBA my right? favorite subject real oh yeah we're gonna have fun with this one we're gonna have fun with this one because I actually pulled up the standings because something that I didn't know until I just happened to take a look I'm gonna ask you a question without you looking I don't want you I, now you might have it in front of you if you do cover it up <laughs> yeah. okay I, I I know because I know you. I know you. You're good with stats. So I, I like. I know you probably got it in front of you. Who is number one in the Western Conference in the WNBA right now? You said the Western. Yeah. I, I got to think of Western Eastern. Hold on. Because okay. I'm gonna like, think about like the NBA. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. I'm <clears> used to time. overall. You know what I mean? And this no, is a quick. This is a quick trivia because. I literally didn't know this until I looked right before right before we started the episode. Western. Yeah, who's the number one team in the West for the W? It's right like, now? Hey, when I West. tell you it's gonna shock you, I guarantee you probably won't get it wrong the first try. I almost guarantee you won't get it wrong. I am about to get it wrong. Nah. Cause ain't no West. Okay, West side, East side, <laughs> West East. Who's down south? Well, it's, it got to be Aces. <laughs> but we're going to – but to segue later, we're going to address why the Aces aren't number one in the West right now. But when I tell you the team, you, I'm going to give you two more tries because three strikes. I'm thinking – it's like I'm thinking West. Like When I tell you, you're going to be like, no way, because it's, it's a team that you least expect. That you that I I I'm not surprised, but you will be. I'm thinking up the standards in my head right now. Overall, at least. No, you're fine. Cause I think you already know who's number one in the East. That's too easy. I didn't. That's why I didn't. That's why I didn't ask you. You already know that one. I know you know because you was just watching. Yeah, I already know. Is it Minnesota? Hmm. Is it Minnesota? Yep. I want to say because I would consider them. So-called West. I, I mean, I actually, did. I'm not surprised. Well, I mean, I was because the Aces should be number one in the West, but because they've been losing games that they shouldn't be losing. Yeah. And but they the got, they're of, coming. Okay. The Lynx <laughs> are <laughs> winning <laughs> games in spite of losing their best player because they got other players that are willing to step up and, and you know, carry the load. I think so. She's going to be back. Oh, yeah, yeah. She'll, she'll be fine. Um, okay. well, I want to just try, you know give give Minnesota their flowers for the moment because um they're they're actually showing that they can they have a team that's built with resilience and they and it's a well coached team. Uh, they're sixteen and six at the time of this recording with a winning percentage well over 700, 11 and three in the conference, ten and two at home, six four on the road, and they're seven and three in their last ten on a current two game winning streak. I mean, like I said, I mean, the Minnesota has won the Commissioner Cup. So that's why I'm like, I'm not surprised. I'm not even surprised they actually won the Commissioner Cup, honestly. I seen, I didn't watch the Minnesota Lynx this year too much. They're not a team that like excites me, like, oh, like, no, they're not a team that excites me. But they work hard. They work hard and they get get the job done. I've seen a little bit of what they do, which is not a lot. And what I've seen is Nafisa. <laughs> Nafisa, Nafisa, Nafisa. But that's nothing new. Like, Nafisa went, went hard. 
last season too. You know what I mean? She so was in the MVP like, conversation till the very end. To be fair, to be fair, she was. She was. She was in the conversation till the end of the season. Um, so I just wanted to give them a flyers for the moment because I think we all know once we approach the postseason, the Aces are going to turn it up a notch. 